Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Scorpio with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Scorpio, we have the number 52 magical map shifter and reduces to a seven. And um, seven is a magical number. It's about magic and mystery. So the magical map shifter, it asks you to be aware of the people who have come into your life. They've come into your life for a reason to shift, right? Shift your focus, your vision, maybe even your purpose going in a new direction here for some of you. Um, you need to know that each and every time uh, this card shows up, the shift, the focus is for the better. Maybe you have met something or met someone who uh, pushes you or, you know, um, offers you the opportunity to be a better version of you. It's um, important for you to be aware, present of these very um powerful dynamic and important people in your life um you need to see them for who they are uh whether the relationship the situationship whatever it was was good or bad it has shifted you to better you a better version of you so that's really good all right so let's get into the tarot here let's see let's see how scorpio is coming into the reading Oh, Scorpio. Okay. Scorpio's coming to a pentacle. So just weighing it up, trying to figure something out. Lots going on, trying to balance it all out, transitioning, maybe even transferring profit and loss, making sense of it all. It talks about a balancing act. For some people, this would be stressful. Um, this would be just a test. But for you, you have found rhythm in doing two things. At the same time, you have also found that, uh, you know, this work that you're doing is going to show up for you, especially maybe in the four of pentacles when you have stability. So some of you are, are really um, juggling maybe two jobs, two ways of making income, uh, two different hats in your life. Maybe you're a business owner and a mother or business owner and a father. You're juggling. You're keeping it all up in the air, though. Nothing has you know, falling by the wayside. It's just a lot going on. How others see you is um, like the magician here, or not the magician, but more so the fool, the jester, the court jester. In the medieval times, they had the court jester coming around. And some of you could be a comedian here. You could be a comedian or trying to get into comedy here, or maybe just, a, you know, your local comedian, your family comedian here. Um, you can come around people and make people think about other things. Um, you know, you can crack jokes. You can just change the atmosphere, the energy here. You're the magical, um, uh, map shifter. Okay. Uh, maybe you are the, yeah, you come into people's lives and you make things different. Uh, and, and vice versa. Someone could have come into your life and made something completely different, but how you're coming into the reading is a two of pentacles. So that could be you. Um, so you can be balancing out checkbooks, transferring money, uh, just making it all work here. All right. So let's see. What is the advice? What is the advice for Scorpio? Really good reading. Okay. Advice is the Ace of Swords. So see clearly. See through. Um, make something add up. It's got to add up and it's got to make sense. I don't know if something that you're doing, you might need to even shift your perspective or maybe even shift your approach or shift um, your journey here because something is just, it's too much. You're, you're having to do too much or it's requiring too much of you. The Ace of Swords here is this conflict before resolution. So maybe something is not adding up. Or you don't see that it's going to be victorious or you're going to be victorious. Um, but it says conflict before actual resolution or victory. It says you're going to have to get real firm, real truthful, honest with yourself firstly. And then others, you have to cut something off or out. I don't know if it's two different things that you're doing. 
two different people, two different lifestyles. I don't know, but you're gonna have to really um, get firm with this and uh, put a stop to it. It's a no. It's a it's a strong no. Uh, with the Ace of Swords here, also um, honesty honest firstly again with yourself and then others you're gonna have to make some irrevocable change so something about that you're doing here in the two of pentacles one of those things you have to decide which one has to go it could be about a person too it could be about career finance um let's see what is the outcome if scorpio takes the advice of the cards okay Wow, the lovers, very nice. So a new contract, a new opportunity, a new soulmate. Um, all right, reconciliation. Okay, I don't typically get that, but yeah, reconciliation. Maybe even going backwards, connecting backwards here. Um, maybe with a soulmate or a high level soulmate or twin flame. I don't know. Whatever you subscribe to, um, but it, it could even be that. It could be another contract also. If this is career and finance, um, if this is love and romance, this could also be meeting someone, right place, right time. Um, some of you are going to have to decide between two different people, two different lovers, two different lifestyles. This could even be sexuality. Do you like men or do you like women or do you like both? But it's a decision that needs to be had. Yeah, five of cups, that's your energy, Scorpio. So it's like you know that you need to do something. Uh I heard failure to launch, um, regret, remorse, uh, resentment, even, uh, regret, not saying things in the five of cups, uh, just hurt our misery, really missing someone and maybe even spying in on this person, whatever the issue or issues are or were. It's because of you. Okay. All right. I'm going to get out of here. Y'all going to be cursed out by these Scorpios. All right. So, um, and that could be you saying this to someone else, you know, like you could be saying that whatever the issues are or were, it's because of you. And maybe someone's saying that to you or you need to know that. I don't know. Um, get a personal reading. If you feel like this resonates with you, go over to the website, book there ask a question or two by texting it to the number below you can always catch me live every tuesday thursday and sunday night 9 30 p.m eastern standard time thank you guys many blessings to you take care